Hey, 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 you guys, Tamika here. And I cannot wait to share with you what I have prepared today. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tamika and I help stay-at-home moms win in life one healthy habit at a time um, through these five keys to succeed that I created. And today we are focusing on nutrition. So as you're hopping on, make sure to say hello, tell me where you're watching from and the time. So take a quick glance at your phone. It is 1017 here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And today I want to talk to you about nutrition. So my five keys to succeed revolve around mindset, which we went live yesterday. And I talked about that with Kayla and Megan about how to, you know, have a more consistent morning routine. Tuesdays, I like to talk about nutrition, maybe share a healthy recipe with you or give you some tips that you can better yours. Not to say that I'm an expert as you will soon hear on this live video, I have work to do, but I definitely want to share what is working for me. Um, we talk about exercise, my third key to succeed, and then lifestyle changes, my fourth key, and then fifth key is supplementation. So glad that you are here. I see Melissa is here from Utah at 1018. I grew up in Utah, um, in case if you didn't know, but I've been in Wyoming now for, Derek, how long have I been in Wyoming? We've been married for 15 years, she says, so maybe like 18, which means I have, which means I have lived in Wyoming like exactly half of my life. And pretty soon it'll be more than half my life. That's crazy to think about. Um, and I love it here. I love it, love, love it. So anyway, back to business. Okay. Today we are talking about nutrition. I stepped on the scale on Monday morning after traveling. Okay. After traveling, but I knew, I knew that my, my weight wasn't where I want it to be. And I know that it's not always about the number on the scale. It's about the way that your clothes are fitting, the way that you feel. And, um, I just haven't been as disciplined as I need to be to have the results that I want to have. And so I went to North Carolina for our company convention, our company conference over the weekend. And um, my goal was to lose some weight before I got there. And I didn't. And so then when I came home after eating out all weekend, you know, we did a little bit of exercise, but not as much as, you know, when I, I do when I'm at home and I stepped on the scale Monday morning and I was like, Ugh. Like, this is not good. Drop a one if that has happened to you. Maybe it happened to you yesterday when you hopped on the scale if you did that on a Monday. I feel like Mondays are like the day where all of us are like super motivated and gung-ho about being healthy for the week, right? Um, so I stepped on the scale, very unhappy with the number, very unhappy with the before pictures, um, and I just knew that I need to be consistent. Now, I have been on this roller coaster since I stopped playing college soccer, right? Since I stopped burning like 2000 calories a day of being able to eat whatever I want to, since I had kids and my metabolism like completely is shot and all of the excuses, all of the reasons, right? And ultimately I'm very consistent with my exercise. For those that follow me, you know, I'm very, very consistent with my exercise. I am, you know, about 70, 80% consistent with my mindset and my supplements. Okay. I do have days where I forget to take them. Um, so I'd say like 70, 80% with waking up early, making sure my mind is right. Um, having that self-discipline, the consistency of using my products and those kinds of things. Um, but when it comes to nutrition and lifestyle, like drinking my water, making sure I get enough sleep, um, and then my nutrition, when it comes to tracking my food and making sure I'm putting good stuff in, that is like a 40%. Now they say that abs are made in the kitchen. That is true. If ultimately you want to hit your weight loss goals, your get healthy goals, like, like nutrition is where it's at. Like nutrition is over fitness. Like nutrition is really where it's at. And if you can dial that in, then you're going to be way more successful. Okay. And so I've tried a lot of different diets. And if you guys have, I'd love to know which ones you have tried. Me and my husband, we did keto for a while and we loved it until he got a weird rash and I got a weird odor. And I was like, I can't even stand to smell myself. So we are done with this, uh, but we loved it. It was simple and um, we could get into ketosis very easily and stay in it because the foods that we were eating tasted good. And, you know, we, it was just good. Like we liked doing the keto diet, but things happened. So we had to stop. Uh, we have, I've tried personally the five and one like lean and green system through Optivia, which I loved that one too. 
Um, it was very, very expensive, but I needed to invest a lot of money um, to hold myself accountable and give myself a goal to hit. And in fact, I told myself that if I got under 150, then I would give myself a move job. And I did. And so um, that like was super motivating, like, like the most fit I've ever been. However, calories that I was consuming were not maintainable. And I know that they have a system to get you out of it, but like I had cut calories and I remember it was during hunting season. I was so weak and so tired. I was getting results. I was spending a lot of money on the food, which I needed to do at the time. I felt like, and I will say that I kind of like implemented my own food system and I was able to keep the weight off for over a year. And so I was like, oh my gosh, that was so effective. Right. Um, I have always used supplements my whole life to help, um, you know, just help me burn some extra calories, help me replace some of my bad habits with good habits, um, and with good things that I can put in my body. And so I, I, I'm a firm believer in supplements and let's see. What other, um, we've tried tracking macros, like our fats, carbs, and proteins, which, um, that's what we're still doing now. And just like trying to hit a specific calorie goal by tracking our food. That's what we're using now. Okay. So, um, like I said, stepped on the scale Monday, not happy with what I saw, knew I needed to make a change. And I wanted to make a change that was going to be a lifestyle change, not just a short-term fix. And so there are three things that whenever I decide I'm going to be disciplined. There are three things that, that set me up for success. And I want to share them with you guys today. And so the first thing I got this a few years ago, when I was doing the Optivia, um, I would plan out what I was eating the night before and I would put them all. I have got this, this little, um, I brought it in from the kitchen and I did clean it and organize it just for this, just for this live video. Okay. Normally it doesn't look this good, um, but I got these three stacked drawers drawers from Walmart. And so in the bottom, like I have all of my like supplements, drinks and things because I want to be drinking those on a daily basis. It's going to help me drink more water and um, give my body nutrients and also sometimes curb that sweet tooth that I have. Okay. So in the bottom, I've got my supplements in the middle shelf. I have like different snacks and bars. And so um, there's bars, there are some walnuts and, you know, we have a, um, spot in our refrigerator where I keep some beef sticks, some string cheese. We have fresh fruit in there. And then like up top, I've got some beef jerky and apple, some chews, um, a bag of popcorn. This is a great thing to snack on. It's only like 20 calories per cup. And, um, you know, there's about like five cups of popcorn in this bag when you pop it. Right. Or maybe there's more, but, um, you know, it's very, very low in calorie and a great snack. And once again, this helps me drink more water and, uh, water is definitely a downfall. So another thing that's helped me is getting this water ball bottle, keeping me on track. It's 10 25 right now. And I'm right here. So hold on. <clears throat> okay, good. See, helps keep me on track. And if I keep, what I notice is that sometimes when I feel like I'm hungry, I'm actually not hungry. I'm just thirsty. So drinking water is going to help so much. Um, but anyway, so this just kind of sits out on the counter. And so anytime I'm hungry, I can grab for something good, not something unhealthy. Right. And I can pick out, you know, what are going to be my snacks for, and like, we'll even do like a protein shake. Um, We've got rice cakes and I actually have this list on the, in my um, recipe book of like all of the different snacks, you know, that I can have and, and how many calories it has along with what are the macros, the carbs, proteins, and fat. So that way I can kind of supplement my snacks for the bits and pieces that I need. And so, um, that's been very, very helpful. Like having food out on the counter that's readily accessible for me to grab. Okay. So, um, that has always worked for me when it comes to my snacking. Okay. If you love snacking too, write snacks in the comments. I snack a lot and I'm trying to get better about it by drinking my water and then making sure that I'm eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, um, normally I skip breakfast. And then what happens is I'm usually not hungry until about lunchtime and I'll eat lunch and then I'll snack. And then I'll just like be hungry the rest of the day. And, and it kind of sets me up to fail. But what I've noticed is that when I do have breakfast, it jumpstarts my metabolism earlier in the day and I am hungrier 
but I'm making healthier choices with my snacks and my water and I'm being more cognizant of it because I've set them out on the counter. So that's really helped. Um, now I needed to be long-term successful. So me and my husband, we started this at the end of December last year, and we've stayed up with it. So on Sundays, I create a meal plan and I just do this on Microsoft word and I just print it out for the day. It's been very, very helpful. And I've been consistent with it for like the past, let's see, four, eight, almost 12 weeks. Well, let's see, this is week 10 meal plan. So 10 weeks, I've been very consistent with doing this. And so I sit down on Sunday, I look at the meat, I look at the food that we have in the refrigerator and I kind of put meal plans according to what sounds good. And then on Monday, or and then on Sunday, my husband makes the grocery pickup list. And so then on Monday, I go pick it up at Smith's and I don't have to shop through the aisles when I'm hungry and put things in the cart that um, I shouldn't have or think that, oh, I'm going to eat really healthy this week and buy all of this stuff. And then it goes to waste because I never end up cooking it. And so this has been very, very helpful. And so for breakfast, I used to change this, but I don't know what I'm going to feel like in the morning. So I just came up with seven different breakfast ideas. And so um, I can have a cookies and cream shake, protein waffles and eggs, a parfait, egg sausage toast, or substitute eggs, bacon toast, like eggs, some kind of protein and toast, um, a fruit protein shake, protein overnight oats and a skillet bowl. And so just making sure that I always have these ingredients, then I can just pick and choose what I want to have for breakfast. If I'm not very hungry, I just have a protein shake. If I am hungry, like today, Derek made me some pancakes with fresh fruit and eggs. And so that's what I had. Um, and then I go through for my lunches and I'll usually pick out about five lunches to have each week. And then I have two to three days where they're leftovers because since I'm cooking now and having dinner, I can easily like have leftovers from the night before or a couple of nights before. And so like this week we um, had chicken salad croissants, which were delicious yesterday. Um, today for lunch, I'm going to have an elk brat with some cottage cheese tomorrow, tuna and cucumber Thursday leftovers. Friday, a lettuce or turkey lettuce wrap, Saturday leftovers. And then Sunday, we usually just do like a big lunch um, around two or three o'clock. And so we're going to have Navajo tacos. So it's like kind of like our dinner, our lunch dinner on Sundays. Um, and then on dinner times, normally what I'll do, and you can see here is on this one, um, I put a link on these ones. I just, I just left it very generic, but normally what I'll do is I'll write down the calories, the, the carbs, the fats, the proteins, like I did on all of my breakfast ones. So you guys can see that. Um, so then it can kind of like give me a gauge as far as like where I'm at for calories. If I eat this, that, and the other now this week, like I said, I just got back from conference. And so, um, I didn't have time to do that on Sunday because I got in really, really late. And so I just threw this together on Monday, but you know, yesterday we had tri-tip potatoes and salad. And so, you know, I didn't really need to like have a recipe for that. We just cooked the meat, cooked the potatoes, had some, had a side salad. Tonight, we're having antelope carnitas. On Wednesday, we're going out to eat. On Thursday, we're having trout, rice, aroni, and salad. On Friday, we're having cheeseburger, macaroni, skillet. And so I have the link highlighted here. And so I actually printed it out and I put it in my binder, which is really helpful. And I, so I just like have this binder. Um, I wish I had brought it so I could show it to you. Maybe... Derek, will you go grab me my um, binder? Um, the one that has all the recipes. Um, and so I clicked it, printed it, and then I put it inside my binder, which was really helpful. And then here I just put like what I was going to need as far as for to make it. And so that way, when my husband does grocery shopping, he knows what to order. And then on Saturday, we're going to have chicken taco soup. And then Sunday, like I said, we just have liner. So we have Navajo tacos. And if kids are still hungry, I'm so hungry. We'll just kind of have leftovers bits and pieces from what we're picking here. So what this has done for me is it's, I'm not like a huge cooker. I'm not a huge planner. I hate it when my kids are always like, I'm hungry. What's for dinner? And I'm like, let's just have frozen pizza. Let's just have chicken nuggets and frozen fries. Cause I didn't plan ahead. And so this really makes it, thank you. Um, this really, really makes it simple and we're saving time because we're not having to go grocery shopping because we're doing the grocery pickup. We're saving money because we're not going through the aisles, buying things that we think we're going to eat or that sound good in the moment that maybe aren't as healthy. So we're saving money there. Plus, um, we subscribe to boost through Smith's and that gives us double the fuel points. And so now we're saving money when we fill up our, our tanks of gas. And so really, really, really helpful. And so what I have here is um, I even printed a blank one on here so that way I could just like write in what I wanted with a wet erase marker. 
but um, for now, this just goes on the fridge. But so inside of here, I've got like, here's all my snacks that I can have, um, that I could think of. And then like, here are my recipes. So like, here's my recipe for overnight oats. Here is easy Mexican tostada, Greek yogurt, chicken salad wrap, a slow cooker lasagna. And so as I come up with recipes and things, I just print them out and put them in here. And then it's really, really simple for me to be able to cook. And I'm not a big cooker, but this has definitely helped. And then the other thing I'll say as kind of like a pro tip is if you just search like healthy recipes online, you're going to get somebody's blog and you will, there will probably be a spot where you can subscribe to their emails. And I'm subscribed to like two or three women who make weekly meal plans and they email it to me every single week. And so I'm able to go through like some recipes that they liked and have created and put those on my list. And so it's not all stuff that I just have to think of, you know, like I do like to go through the meat that we have in our freezer, the food that we have in our fridge and create recipes around that. So that way we're not wasting things. But, um, other than that, I just use what other people have already created, put it in my binder and then we shop and buy the things. So I hope that, I hope that those two things are helpful for you having a little container of what you're going to eat and then setting yourself up for success by planning out your meals and purchasing them ahead of time. Okay. Now the last thing is I like checklists. Okay. If you love lists, drop a little check mark or that little like emoji. That's like my favorite emoji that has the, the square with like the pencil writing on it. Um, because I love taking notes. I love checking off lists. And so along with my five keys to succeed, um, I like to win. Okay. Like I said, like I teach stay at home moms, how to win in life, one healthy habit at a time. And I do believe that those five keys to succeed that I told you about are going to help you win in your life overall. And so I created this and I just said, you know, in the caption here that if you waited till the end, I was going to give you a freebie. And so I just created this this morning. And so I'll get it uploaded on my website. And then that way, when you request it, it'll be available for you. But um, here I just kind of go through my five keys to succeed. So mindset, nutrition, fitness, um, your lifestyle and supplements. Okay. And so here I go through like what exactly I'm talking about. And this is a spot for you to track it for 30 days, because I believe that if you can be consistent, like 80, 90% of the time with these five things, then you are going to see huge change in your life. Okay. And so I just put this on my, here's my older one. Cause like I said, I just kind of revamped it this morning. Um, so I started yesterday easy to be five for five when you're on your first day, but this really helps hold me accountable. And so I put this on my refrigerator next to my meal plan. And every day that I do at least 10 minutes of personal development, whether it's reading a book, whether it's listening to a podcast or a YouTube video or anything like that, anytime I do 10 minutes of personal development, I can bubble that in. Anytime I put all of my food in my food tracker um, for my nutrition, it doesn't matter like anything else. As long as I track all my food, then I can color that one in. Uh, my lifestyle right now has to do with my business. So when I do my 10, 3, 20 block, I can color that one in. When I exercise, I can color that one in. And when I take my supplements, I can color that one in. Now I exercise about um, six days a week. So it's okay that I don't color in the exercise on that day. Or if I want to push myself, maybe I go for a walk or I do some yoga or stretching that day and count that for my exercise, um, but 30 minutes of exercise or movement. And so what's so nice about this is like, you get to set your own goals. This is like super, super flexible. And so what does mindset mean to you? Maybe it's just, you wake up and you say five things that you're grateful for every day that you do that. Um, you'll get to color in that bubble. So here in the blanks, you'll just write in what your exercise or what your mindset goal is in order to bubble it in here. Um, nutrition, maybe um, you just want to say like, hey, if I don't eat candy, then I get to bubble that in. Okay, that's that's one that I've used before in the past. Or like if I stay under X amount of calories or if I hit this protein goal or if I track all of my food or if I eat this many servings of fruits and veggies, like you can choose whatever your nutrition goal is. I'm not here to tell you what diet to follow, what you can and can't eat. Like your job is to set a goal that's right for you. And then when you do that, every time you do it, you bubble it in. Okay, exercise, same thing. Maybe it's 30 minutes a day. Maybe it's burn this many calories. Maybe it's take this many steps. Um, maybe it's just complete one workout, like whatever it is for you, you'll write down your goal, bubble that in. 
lifestyle. Now, this is very, very generic because we all live different lives. And so what's important to you in this moment? Maybe you're a smoker and you want to quit smoking. So every day you don't have a cigarette. That's your lifestyle goal. Maybe it's you need to drink more water. So every day you drink half your body weight in water, then you get to bubble that in. Maybe it's sleep. Maybe you're not prioritizing sleep. So if you get seven to eight hours, then you get to bubble that one in. Uh, maybe it's just spending time with yourself and doing some kind of self-care as far as like, um, taking time for yourself or um, doing something that you enjoy, like crocheting or knitting or coloring a picture or, um, you know, cuddling with your dog for five minutes, any kind of lifestyle that, that shift that you need to make happen in your life to make you more happy is what you're going to write in that goal. And then you'll bubble it in. And then last your supplements, whether you use my supplements or you have supplements of your own, I do believe that supplements can help you reach your goal faster. They can help you feel more energized in a clean, healthy way. And so you write down your supplements that you're taking. And then every day that you do it, you bubble it in. And so this is my five keys to succeed freebie. And I want to give it to you because I want to help you stay more accountable. I want to help you reach your goals. And so what I need you to do is I need you to text the word key. Okay. And if somebody can write this in the comments, that would be fabulous. So you're going to text just K E Y to my phone number, which is 307 288 3383. Now, as soon as I hop off this video, I'm going to officially get this loaded on the website. So that way, when you text me, then I will be able to actually send this to you. And I want to keep you in the loop as far as the different products and services that I offer to help you win in your life one healthy habit at a time using these five keys to succeed. I'm going live almost every day trying to share value with you. Um, I have a fit tip email that I send out every Friday. And that kind of gives you a recap of what we talked about during the week um, and also some other thoughts. And so if you click the link in my bio, you can subscribe to my emails there. Um, I'm always creating and offering different challenges, prizes, incentives in my Get Fit Club. So if you click the link in my bio, you can join that. And, you know, ultimately, it's just my it's just my passion to help you win in your health, in your life, in your finances, in your family. Um and your own personal confidence. And so I hope that you found this helpful. Feel free to share this video, save it so you can watch it again. If you have any questions, let me know. And remember to text the word P to 307-288-3383 so you can get this free digital download. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. We will see you later. Bye.